global warming, climate change, greenhouse gas emissions. All these words are commonly known by societies, but to what extent does society understand the problem? Is it a problem that warrants immediate action? We want to show you what effects climate change has on the environment and ultimately on society. So what is global warming again? Global warming occurs when Earth heats up due to greenhouse gases primarily caused by the vehicles, factories and power plants, thereby trapping the light from the sun in the Earth's atmosphere and consequently increase the temperature. Most of the greenhouse gas emission comes from the developed nations such as America. But who suffers from the effect climate change has? It's mainly the developing countries like those in Africa. So what are the effects of climate change? The rise in global temperatures causes the melting of the ice in polar regions, ice caps and glaciers around the world. This results in less light being reflected back into the atmosphere and rising sea levels. But why exactly is that a bad thing? When less light is being reflected, it means that more light is absorbed by the Earth's surface, which promotes global warming even further. The rise in sea level and the changes in sea temperatures have several effects on the biotic and abiotic environment. For example, changes in ecosystems such as kelp forests and coral reefs, coastal and island erosion, food security and many more. In the coastal waters of South Africa, kelp forests are found, which are ecosystems that are changing because of the cooling of sea surface temperatures. The kelp forests are experiencing an increase in biomass and distribution over the past years, which may result in the destruction of other ecosystems like coral reefs. Coral reefs are also very sensitive to ocean acidification caused by the greenhouse gas emissions. Changes in ecosystems, like the loss of coral reefs, can result in an increase in coastal destruction in tropical regions, since coral reefs serve as a protective barrier. Rising sea levels are very alarming to those nations with low coastal regions as well as island nations such as the Maldives. The Maldives have already lost many islands and its people are now worrying for their homeland. Global food security may change due to changes in food production. Drafts or flooding of land due to changes in rainfall can have severe effects on the global food security, especially in the poor nations where hunger is already a problem. So, should we care now? The effects of climate change can have negative impacts on all nations developing and developed. Changes on the natural environment will most probably have direct impacts on the developing countries, but consequently the developed nations will be influenced indirectly. For example, developing nations export most of the food produced to the developed countries. Therefore, changes in food production in the developing nations will impact the developed ones. As a result, the global economy may collapse. It is a must that we take action for those who still inhabit the planet and those generations who are still coming.